Hello guys, this is Craig Vyer for Spurverse, and I'm here again with my old pal. This is getting old now, isn't it, this Craig thing? But it is. is. Oh, it is. Craig I love Lynch. it. No, we like it. Hashtag. Boom. Boom. The Craig, the two Craigs. Oh, yeah. Back in the game. We need a uniform. We do, we do. Yeah. But I think Barnaby's sorting that out, actually. See on the here. chest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it's it. all part of the expenses. That's cool. Anyway, look, let's go straight into it. Guys, you know how this works. We're talking about stuff that's made us really Spurverted and really happy to be Spurs fans this week. Yeah. So, rolling straight into it. Adi Bayor, the deal to West Ham is supposedly back on. <laughs> Do you, hey? Okay, do you know what the thing about this is though? I'm, I'm excited every time it gets mentioned, but then it goes down again, then it goes oh, up. Right. It's on the table, it's not on the table. He's staying, he's going, he's practicing Islam, he's not. I don't know what's going on with this guy, to be honest. He doesn't know what's going on either. His agent doesn't know what's going on. Have they managed to get him on the phone? It sounds like they might have done uh, right about now, but let's just uh, hope, we've got to hope this is fine. If got... this guy has any hope of playing football, ever again in his career, he has to leave. Exactly. So the, the one thing that we can hope for is that this is going to be sorted out and that he's going to be moving on. Yes. We need to get rid. I'm going to say it's going to happen. Keep our fingers crossed, Craig Mitch. To. Let's do it. Right, moving straight on then. Two new talent coming to the club. Supposedly, Spurs are very close to agreeing a deal with Crystal Palace for Yannick Balassi. How do you feel about that then? Um, I think he's very dynamic. Uh, he's a ball of fire. Words, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, I mean, the thing is, he is pretty old. I didn't know he was 26. No, it's not old, but I, I thought he was a lot younger than that. He's what? only just burst onto the scene, For really. a player that seems like he needs more development, 26 yeah, is yeah. quite old. He's definitely not the finished article Yeah, because last week we were saying he's raw talent. But, I mean, at this stage, we'll take anything with a bit of pace and a bit of excitement, to be honest. But, I mean, do you, do you believe the stories? Because there are some other stories coming out that Spurs are apparently saying that they're not even interested in the player. So I mean, what? I mean, I think we're interested because we need someone like Townsend's not good enough, let's face it. Lamella's pretty much out the door. Yeah. We've got Clinton and Jai, but we need someone else as well just to offer something a bit more. And he knows the Premiership. Yeah. So I'd yeah. take him. I'm not sure if they're 100% true, the rumours, but I'd definitely take him. But he's strong, and I think he's an unknown quantity, isn't he? Yeah. He, it, I, he doesn't know what he's going to do when he's on the mm -hmm. ball. And sometimes that can be a good thing, because yeah. the defender's on the other confuse side. Confuse himself, confuse exactly. them, confuse yeah, all yeah, of yeah. us. Like and he it. has got a trick. He's got some tech as that mm, boy. So. Does. You never know. Let's see if that one happens. And another deal that might be happening. Oh, yeah. I think this could be a really good one if we can make it happen, but I don't see it myself. Is Victor Wanyama. Mm. What do you say to that, Craig? Got Mitch? me very excited. I really, really rate Wanyama. Um, he played under Pochettino at Southampton. He's been there for two years. He's handed in a transfer request. Well, yep. I don't know if he's handed one in, but he certainly made it clear that he doesn't want to be at Southampton. The only thing that's my concern is that it's getting close to the end and Southampton might just hold on to him out of spite. Yeah, well, it's that thing again, isn't it, about trying to cut other clubs to sign a replacement before they let somebody go yeah. and are they really going to let, let, let Wanyama come to us knowing that realistically these days Southampton are rivals of ours for the, the sort of the top six, hopefully the top four. I, I know, know, they haven't had a strong start either. And I mean, I think maybe they were a one but he's, wonder. But he is making noises, isn't he? He is making noises that he wants to leave and he wants yeah. to come to the club. And at the end of the day, who doesn't want to come to Spurs? You all want to come Obviously. to Spurs. Come, we'll love you, we'll embrace you, oh. we'll bring you into the team. You'll slot right in there, Wanyama. Yeah. You'll be our beast at the back, protecting the defence right alongside Bentaleb. We are going to love that. I really want to see this one happen. I'm not sure if it will, but let's keep our fingers crossed. They're crossed. Anyway, this is the Craig's Point the. Leave your comments in the box below. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you think about these stories. We really want to hear what your thoughts are on signing these players and letting Adibai all go. And make sure you follow us on Twitter and subscribe to the channel. What's up, guys? It's Craig Mitch here for Spurred On. And today we are going to do Spurred On's top five strangest jobs in football. Now, 